Ahem. <clears throat> um, hello, my name is Seb, and today I'm going to be correctly ranking Joe Bros from straightest to gayest. Now, you may be asking, why am I doing this? Well, dear viewer, I've seen so many people try to correctly rank the JoJo's from the straightest to gayest, but as far as I know, no one has done a correction video for the Joe Bros. And I think we should change that today because so many stuff in the original Jobo ranking by um Juice Man was so off. And you may be thinking, who the fuck does this bitch think she is? Some gay overlord? And the answer is yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, anywho, um I think I'm qualified for this because I'm like, um, gay you know like i'm rolling with the lgbt as they say uh you know um i was born this way <laughs> oh limb wristed you know <laughs> anyways enough of the intro let's get to the rankings first of all i would like to list all of the joe bros that i'm going to be including in here so from part one we got Speedwagon. from part two we got caesar from part three we got kakyoin from part four we got okuyasu uh, from part 5, we got Mista, and from part 6, we got Hermes. And also, I'm not going to be in including part 7 to 8, due to the fact that I have not read either parts. Although, from what I heard, um, Jaro is pretty gay. <laughs> also, I think all the Joe Bros are fucking gay. So this is more like a least gay to most gay video. Anyways, on to the list. Starting off with number 6. AK the least gay, we got Okuyasu Nijimura. Now, many of you may be thinking, bro, what the fuck? He and Josuke display some hella gay behavior? And you're correct. However, he has also stated that multiple women, including moms and a fucking ghost, are hot, making him the least gay. But, but... Do not let this distract you from the fact that he and Josuke definitely made out in Josuke's room the day after the final fight in part 4. <laughs> like, bruh, something sus going on there. Anyways, number 5. We got Caesar Sapelli. Now, you may be thinking again. Bro, this is the same man that held Joseph in his arms while thinking to himself that they're gonna train Hamon and become stronger together. <laughs> and yeah, you're right, that's some gay ass shit. But, he is also known to be a womanizer, and although it may have been because he was trying to hide his gayness in a time where fucking Nazi Germany exists, you know, those motherfuckers were homophobic as hell, um, it was still a pretty straight thing to do. And to be honest, I do think he's genuinely attracted to the girls that he always flirts with. However, he's just a tiny bit more attracted to Joseph Joestar. <laughs> Like, come on, the first girl he was shown kissing had the same weird-ass spiky brown hair Joseph has, so, like, you know. Also, Joseph married a girl who has the same nationality as Caesar, plus she practically looks like a female version of him, so, yeah, kind of fruity, kind of gay, kind of sus. Plus, in the anime, one of the homo teachers guy, I forgot his name, said when Caesar makes friends, it's like true love. Now that's a little sus, bro. Next up, number four. It's your favorite gun boy, Mista. And although in a gang of gay teenagers, Mista has displayed some... <laughs> some... Some straight behavior. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Um, anyways, he has displayed some straight behavior, like when he was looking at Trish's... Uh, what the fuck? Trish's chest, like... Uh, Mista, she's 15, bro. Get your eyes off of her, shaking my head. Um, also, I feel like he dressed the straightest in Bucciolati's gang. Which is weird to say, because they all dress pretty gay. But it's like, he covered the most... Well, yeah, he covered the most... Yeah, he covered up the most, you know? Like... <laughs> Like, there was no, um, man titty window, or, like, um, some weird-ass fucking cross, uh, whatever the fuck. 
or holes in his fucking shirt, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways, other than that, um, he seems pretty fucking gay, I don't know. Bucciolati's gang is just a bunch of gay people, <laughs> you know? Anyways, on to number three. Our favorite cherry-licking donut boy, Kakyoin. Now, many people have made the mistake of labeling him as straight, but I will not be doing that today. I will not be doing the same. I'm not making the same mistakes. One of the first scenes this man was shown in was him going down a flight of stairs in a gay ass drive. Like, come on. Have you seen a heterosexual cisgender man walk down the stairs like this? Hell no. Also, in the car episode, he and Jodoro were just dead ass trying to impress each other. Like, bro, you just got in a car accident. Chill with the flirting. Plus, he used being students as an excuse to room with Jodoro when they were in Singapore. Like, what kind of reasoning is that? <laughs> Bruh. What, what, what kind of reason? Like, you know, whatever. However, I will add that he does display a bit of straightness. Like, when he said he'd marry a girl like Holly or whatever the fuck. And when I when I bring that scene up, I'm not saying he likes Holly. He does not like Holly. He doesn't want to fuck the mom. Actually, I actually revisited the scene. And he said if he were to fall in love. So he didn't even specify that it was a girl. He just said if he were to fall in love with someone, uh, he would like it. He would like them to be like Holly. So... He could be talking about a fucking dude, for all we know. <laughs> you know. Anyways, um, I swear to God, if one of y'all try to try to be like, oh my God, Kakyoin is straight. Kakyoin is a straight alpha male, uh, milf hunter. He's a milf hunter. Therefore, he's a a straight alpha male or something. I'm going to um shit myself, like bro. Okuyasu's the real milf hunter. <laughs> Anyways, number two, it's our queen, Hermes. Okay, okay, like literally, just take one look at her, okay? Yeah, you got it? Yeah, that's what a lesbian looks like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, obviously, there's no way to look lesbian. This is a joke. But, like, she and Jolene were so fruity in part of sex, like... Like, they give off, like, lesbian vibes. Just, just sapphics being sapphics, you know? Uh, women loving women vibes. You know, like... <laughs> like, Jolene, Hermes, and Foo Fighters were in a polyamorous relationship, and you cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> like, ain't no way Hermes is straight, bro. Ain't no way. Anyways, number one. The gayest of gays, our lord and savior, Speedowagong. <laughs> okay, hear me out. He has displayed zero, and I mean zero, attraction to women. The only person he seems to, like, like, or, like, have interest in or whatever is Jonathan. And that's pretty gay. Like... Bro swore absolute loyalty to Jonathan just because he didn't fucking kill him with his thick legs. <laughs> like, that's kind of fucking fruity, not gonna lie. It's very sus. Like, even Joseph questions, like, the extent of Jonathan's and Speedwagon's relationship. Like, what does that mean, Joseph? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um... I know, like, like right after, he was like, hi, you and Speedwagon should get together, Grandma, like, uh, as a joke. But, like, the fact that he asked if Jonathan and Speedwagon were just best friends was kind of fucking sus. <laughs> like, who? Huh? And then he's like, ah, stop, I know he's just loyal. Loyal to who? Jonathan? That sounds kind of gay. <laughs> Also, he, like, used his hot abs to thaw Sebeli's, um, Baron Sebeli's frozen arm or whatever. Like, damn. Speedwagon. You smooth motherfucker. You, like, secretly got a man to touch your abs. <laughs> okay, anyways, anyways. Um, that concludes our list, I guess. 
No, no. I know some of y'all might disagree with some of my Joe Bro selections, like in part one and part five. I've seen like people um, switch between um, Baron and Speedwagon for Joe Bro selection in part one, and in part five, people kind of switch between like Mista and Bruno. So um, I'm gonna put them as honorable mentions. So here they are Baron Zeppeli. Not much to say about the guy, to be honest, but him letting Speedwagon put his arm on his abs was kind of sus. Other than that, I don't know, he seems he seems like a normal straighty or whatever. Next up, Bruno Buccellati. Now, this man, oh boy, this man, he is so gay. He is the model gay man. The model gay mom, bro. <laughs> he and Abakio are a married gay couple, and the rest of the um, Passione gang uh, were their adopted children. You cannot change my mind about this because it is facts. It is literally facts. Like, <laughs> bruh. Okay, anyways, that wraps it up for this video. Um, Let me know if you would have switched up the rankings and how you would switch it up or whatever, I guess. <laughs> Also, if I see any homophobic comments, um, they will be just deleted. So keep that shit to yourself. Peace.